Sorry, I had to take some coffee. Um, bees nest, can the I take it? The idea was good, but, Lady but Lily's arms were too Wait, short. Wait, we have a rake. I hope it works. Go find another place to play. <laughs> How sweet. Apparently, Freeman was worried about Lily. Oh. Okay, one more time. Maybe he doesn't. Go find another place. Okay. How is apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no. What do we need? Okay, we have a brush. Oh. Lily wasn't allowed into the convent until the gardening had been done. Hopefully, it wouldn't start hailing again. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Huh? Uh, what was that? Hey, help! When Lily returned to the well, Freeman was gone. Lily, help! Lily heard strange noises from the bottom <laughs> of the well. But she was a good little girl, and she knew she wasn't supposed to play near the well. Wait, Just uh, like Freeman. She had even told him so herself. Where could he be? <laughs> Where, my friends? Okay, take the rake and business. <laughs> oh, ah, what's going on? Lily, no! Go away, go away! I'm allergic! <laughs> oh, no. Clumsy Lily had actually dropped the bee's nest into the well. The bees didn't like it too much either. Their buzzing sounded different than usual. <laughs> cool. Oh, I have the greatest idea all time. Oh, yeah! No. Okay, we can help in. in we're gonna um, put some water. I hope it falls set. Too bad. The faucet oh, was dry. On. Okay. Can I... Can I take Lily it? Lily was excited. Yeah. Where could the hose lead to? What a surprise. The hose led to... Uh... Um... Thing. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take the garden huh? And put it at the pump. Great. And activate the pump. Lily, have you completely lost your mind? Turn that off immediately. But did I not tell you exactly what you should be doing? I just c c can't believe you keep finding new ways to disappoint me. Ah, oh, calm down. Lily didn't understand what she had done wrong. But maybe it worked. Let's go to the well. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, we have honey. So let's talk to Freeman. Freeman was a little <laughs> grumpy, sure. But he looked so funny with those red dots and yellow honey stains. There was no way this could last long. <laughs> um, ah, Lily. Thanks a lot for your great help. You really did a fantastic job. If I can ever help you... Uh. Oh, you want the cellar key, but of course not. What in the world are you thinking? You're the one who got me to go into the well. It's your fault that I fell in. But instead of helping me get out, you throw a beehive on my head and nearly drown me. Look at me. I'm wet, covered in bee stings and smeared from head to toe with honey. I know everyone thinks you're sweet and harmless, but you're actually a walking disaster. You can definitely forget about the key. You keep away from me. Oh, so we have the bee. Lily was proud of herself. She had found a way to get to the beehive and the bees still seemed to be fine. Everyone was happy. <laughs> okay, can I take it? Lily thought about collecting the honey with her bare hands. But then she remembered her recent scolding at the cafeteria. She needed a better plan. We have a brush, ladies and gentlemen. We have a brush. Okay, honey brush. Can I brush Freeman? Uh, oh. Am I not covered with enough honey for you yet? 
Do you want to touch it up? Oh man, I hate you! <laughs> Lily had been distracted for a moment, but apparently Freeman didn't even want her things, probably in case she would need them later. He was such a dear friend. Uh, okay, we lose some honeys, so we can... Oh, okay. The termites, are we gonna put it in the well? Which is the beehive here, so they're gonna drown. Okay. I'm gonna walk. Oh, more honey. To the backyard. And we're gonna lay a trace for the termites. The termites responded very excitedly to the honey. To lure them away, Lily just had to find a good spot to spread it on. Hmm. Oh, the compost. The compost bin was the ideal place to move the termites to. Lily started right away. Okay, so they go to the termite. Cool. So far, the oh. plan had worked well. Maybe a little too well. The termites were now following Lily's spilled honey back into the courtyard. Ah! Oh. <laughs> no, don't get away! <laughs> Strange sounds were drifting towards her from over there. It was probably the termites celebrating their new home. <laughs> okay, let's go fight it. <laughs> um, okay. Um, Freeman had now left for good, but at least the termites had found a new home on the bench. Um, and as if that weren't reason enough to be happy, they had been joined by one of those funny gnomes that Lily sometimes saw around. Um. <laughs> uh. <laughs> my God. Um. It looked like the termites had found a new home. And one of the gnomes that Lily saw now and then was in the process of painting it in various colors. Too bad that Freeman was no longer here. He would probably have liked it too. Do I see rips? The fuck? <laughs> um, okay. Freeman had left the cellar key for Lily. How nice of him. Oh yeah, that's nice of him. Thank you, Freeman, wh wherever you are. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, okay, so this guy is kind of censoring. Yeah, it's censoring our... Yeah, so I think... <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Mother Superior had strictly forbidden the children from playing in the cellar. Yeah, but we're gonna... On the other hand, yeah. Lily had a task to finish. Exactly. And I drink my coffee. Into the cellar. Ooh, what can we found here? Some magic places. Hmm. Can of food. Lily got along great with Doris, the lunch lady. That's why she knew Doris would start throwing knives if anyone messed up her pantry. <laughs> and an air hammer. And a shovel. A shovel? That's exactly what Lily needed. Oh, hell yeah. Anything else? The stove. The stove was black and empty. Just like the mirror that always appeared in Lily's dreams. <laughs> Okay. Let's go back to Anna. We have we have some, we have some stuff actually. That's great. Um. Okay. The termite are <laughs> busy. So what's this? Edna had apparently left an inscription here. Oh. Lily was touched. Edna was Lily's best friend. That's that's great. So let's take the shawl and give it to Edna. Yay! You found a shovel! Oh, Lily, you're the best! I Let's know. not waste any time and dig up the treasure! And Edna and Lily began digging out Edna what they thought Lily? was a treasure chest. It's only Lily! That's quite a treasure chest. It looks like it might have belonged to some space pirates once. Mm. So what? They were space pirates from World War II. Oh, it's a Who bomb. cares? <laughs> What's more important is that they left us their treasure. Come on, let's open it. I'm so excited. What the 
A real treasure <laughs> chest. It was hard to tell, but Lily was actually speechless. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Once again, more proof that the bad reputation raw violence has is completely undeserved. Here, we certainly won't get far without it. Can I take a shovel? Oh. Yippee! You did it! Hmm. And what's that supposed to be? Hmm. Those space pirates must have led a pretty miserable life if this was their most precious treasure. Well, at least we have a fabulous chest. And I already have an idea what we can do with it. We'll bury our own treasure. Do you have anything on you? Hmm. Uh-uh. Some wool from embroidery class? Wow, that's perfect. Our friendship ribbon. The string that ties us both together, so to speak. Come on, put it in there. Now we just have to bury the chest again and... Lily! Where did the brat disappear to now? Lily! Oh. That's Mother Superior. What does she want now? We should check before she explodes. You have to be careful, you know? What happened? That took much too long for my liking. <sighs> is everyone finally here? Freeman is missing, Mother Superior. Say nothing more! Where's Freeman? <laughs> Your lack of discipline has reached a level that I can no longer tolerate. From now on, all games on the convent grounds are forbidden. And until further notice, there will be no more dessert, and bedtime will be moved up by an hour. And in case you're wondering, it is the bad behavior of one specific student that has led me to take these measures. In my helplessness, I even decided to call on an expert for help. He's a renowned uh. psychologist who will restore discipline and order here in the convent. The examination will take place this evening. The doctor will drive the mischief out of you once and for all. And I can guarantee this much. It won't be a pleasant experience. That's not A great. psychological examination? Oh, Lily. I'm sure this is all about me. I desperately need a plan. Meet me near the beds. I'll need your help. You have the rest of the day off to think about what you've done wrong. I'd better not hear that you've used the time to create more mischief. And Lily, I'm expecting you in my office now. Oh. I'm very disappointed in you, Lily. Can you ever do anything right? Uh. Oh. Not another word. Your constant excuses just make me even angrier. <laughs> And now just don't stand around like an idiot. Well, get a move on. Feed the cat. Can't you see how emaciated Lumpy has gotten again? Oh, stupid ch ch child. Okay, let's feed the cat um, Lumpy. Lumpy was hungry, or he was tired, or bored. It was always hard to tell with him. Yeah, he looks <laughs> a bit <laughs> alive. Lumpy's bowl was nicely decorated. Life as Mother Superior's pet was probably wonderful and fulfilling. Okay, um, we have here a Mario plan. The cheerful flower seemed to like Lily. At least it bent forward just a touch when Lily came close. Okay, let's take the cat food. Um, hello plant. Put the food inside the cat bowl. What are you doing? Bad, Lily. Very, very bad. Wow. You should really know that Lumpy doesn't eat regular cat food. Um. Mm. But you've disappointed me for the last time. Here's the recipe for the right cat food. Bring it to Doris, the lunch lady. It contains exact instructions for preparing Lumpy's food. Doris can also find my lunch order for today on there too. Do you understand? Uh-huh. And now, get out. I have to prepare for Dr. Marcel's arrival. I'm hoping that his new method of correcting character flaws will save me this kind of trouble in the future. We will see.